According to a report, 90% of the graduates are going to be unemployed in 2025. This is a concerning thing. There are many reasons why the situation like this is happening in our country. I want to share something that uh, I have witnessed recently. I was talking to one of my friends. He started a food truck any year back. I asked him how much he is making and all. He said like he's making around 3 lakhs per month in revenue. Like if you cut down on the costs and expenses like it. He's making almost 1.5 lakhs per month as profit every single month. And like he's, he's not a graduate. Like he stopped his graduation in the middle. So he's a dropout kind of guy. And there were many such real-time examples. Like if you go and find out in your locality, you will find many electricians, many plumbers, many skilled labor, many carpenters, many shopkeepers. They are all making more than 50k per month on average. Do you think they are all educated or graduated? No. But the situation for graduates is completely contrasting. I know many graduates personally, like even after graduating for two years or three years, they are still searching for that IT job. They are still searching for their core job. They are still searching. That. They were left with no other option because they weren't trying on other skills. They are only good. At least they feel they are a good at their own core skill. See, that's the problem with the current education system or current graduation. But why is this situation happening? Why Indian graduates are finding it difficult to land into an employment, to land into something that they can uh, make money why to start with like i will share a small example which we all can relate imagine like you have a kid in your home and you give him two toys and ask him to select one he feels that like there are only two toys so he will be left with no other option apart from choosing one among the two because he thinks like there are only two toys but take another scenario you take it to a toy store and ask him to explore the store you will find thousands of toys there. It's easy for him to select which toy that he really enjoy playing with or which toy he really likes. If you give a kid multiple options, a wide range of options to explore, they will truly find what excites them. So that is something that we are missing in our education system. You can relate most graduates today with the kid in the previous example. Like you are only giving a kid or a student limited options. Engineering, medicine, chartered accountancy, that's it. You are giving him limited options. You are giving him or giving her limited options. And they were left with no other choice apart from uh, choosing that. See, that is a thing which is happening currently. But what if we told our students to explore multiple options? Ask them to uh, try coding, ask them to try marketing, ask them to try designing, ask them to explore some other stuff. Everything, ask them to start their own venture or own startup with a limited budget or no budget. They will really find what excites them the most and they can rely on that or they can proceed with that. That will give them more opportunities, that will give them an ending potential. Formal education is really losing its relevance now because of the limited options that we are providing. As I said, like 90% of the graduates are going to be unemployed, which is really a concerning thing. But yeah, it's something that we need to think. Why are we not exploring multiple options? Like in the future, like if I have kids, like I will tell them to explore multiple options in their childhood, even though they fail, even though uh, they get a zero marks in their academics. I don't care because I want them to explore multiple options. I want them to explore multiple things and realize what will suit them and pursue their career uh, with them. Like there is no guarantee that okay, uh, something that they feel uh, is exciting them currently might not exist them in the future. But at least exploring multiple options will give them choices. Instead, like if you uh, tell them like go for engineering, go for medicine, they can't find a way to get out of that zone where they were left with limited options. That is something that we are doing now. There were many people who were not graduates, but they were finding this to do multiple works. As I said earlier, if you take an electrician, if you take a plumber, if you take a carpenter, if you take a construction worker, like they were all not educated. They just learned skills to survive, to feed the family, to earn some money, and they were doing it in the right way. But what? We are spending lakhs on our education, but still, we are not able to figure out what is that something that will help us to earn money. So this is something that we need to get out of. It's time to rethink what will really work out in this fast-paced technology world. The skills are evolving, skills are changing. We need to adapt to the digital skills. We need to adapt to the creative skills. You need to be more creative 
then only we can earn money otherwise like it's going to be difficult in the coming days with ai and other technologies replacing manual jobs so you need to find a way to get out of the zone you need to be skilled please stop depending on colleges or schools for your livelihood like that doesn't work in reality because like when was the last time a degree guaranteed you an employment a degree guaranteed you a active income source there is no such thing now and if you take two years from now only good skills guarantee you an active income source or passive income source you need to stay relevant you need to understand what's trending you need to understand what is that something which can give you happiness which can give you money which can give you flexibility to do that you need to explore multiple career option come out of the shell of being limited to whatever you are doing now explore multiple options individually i love to do that i love exploring multiple options i did coding i did marketing i did designing i did editing i put my hands on startups entrepreneurship everything so far so i'm happy that like I might have failed on multiple things but still I'm happy because I know what to do when something doesn't work it, that is I mean the mindset that you need to have and that is something that I want every kid to understand that explore a wide range of opportunities that exist today so that tomorrow you will find a way to survive on your own I hope you find this video insightful at least for a few if you feel anyone uh, would get benefit by watching this video please make sure you share this video with them also if you're a new visitor to my channel please make sure you subscribe to the channel i'm going to share a lot of my personal experiences like this in the coming days thank you for watching